YouTube phaser here and what I've got today is a tutorial on how to build a sound effector in Cinema 4D and also in the tutorial I'm going to include uh, a fix to a problem that a lot of people have where you know you add your track and nothing happens um, like you don't get any sound come out of it or anything like you don't get any movement so I'm going to show you how to fix that it's really simple actually um, so without wasting any more time I'm just going to get into a tutorial so if I open Cinema 4D now, we've got one that I've already made here and we're looking at making something along the lines of this. If I just skip through the track, get to a bit of a better bit. Um, you can see there, going really nicely with the song. Um, go into the middle, and it's all playing fine. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to show you how to make something like this. Um, I've put some nice colours on it as well. Obviously, you don't have to have these colours. You can add some other stuff, do whatever you want with it. But um, I'm going to just start now and show you how to make it. So basically, you just want to start off with a floor, um, <clears throat> and then you want to take a cube and make it sort of like a, a smaller square, but like you still want it tall. So you just want to change the size like that, and you don't want to mess with the height. If anything, you want to make it taller. Um, so for now we'll just stick with that um, then you want to go to MoGraph and you're going to add a cloner just here and you want to drag the cube as a child of the cloner by waiting until the arrow is pointing down and then letting go on there and then on the cloner you want to change the mode to radial and then you'll see we've got like a, a star shape here um, but what we actually want is like this a star shape like facing out of the ground so you change the plane down here from XY to XZ um, and then you've got that sort of thing there and then you just want to change up your radius to make it as wide as you want and then change the count to fill it out with the points there so you see really quickly really simply we've got our basic um, design for our sound effector um, but obviously if we press play on it nothing's going to happen because there's no effectors on it or anything like that so I'm going to take um, now a sound effector and we're just going to go into MoGraph effector sound just here and then you want to click on your cloner and where it says effectors here the sound effector is a chart is a effector on there but if it's not on there just click it here and drag it in and you'll have it there and then on your sound effector um, first things first you need to add a song um, now this is a problem that a lot of people are having is when they add their song say they add one like this which is a WAV format if I was to press play nothing is going to happen um, all the way throughout the song nothing is going to happen and the reason for this is you need to have a WAV file that is 16 bit or 24 bit a 32 bit won't work um, it's best actually to have a 16 bit because that seems to affect the sound effect more and I'll show you what I mean now if I put on a 24 bit and open when I play you see straight away there's some sort of sound effect there um, it's working fine but it's not too much movement whereas um, if I put on the 16 bit just here um, it doesn't actually look like any more movement but it is more I'll show you what um, Show me about that. But yeah, basically, so that's uh, that's like a really easy fix to the problem everyone's having. If I go into my Sony Vegas now, you can see when you enter your render options. Um, I'm not sure about other programs. I always render with Sony Vegas, even like music. You can see we've got the WAV file type, and we've got a load of 16 bit, 24 bit, 32 bit. Um, best for, for a sound effect, the best for 16 bit. Not always. I don't know if it's necessarily the best quality, but. It, may, it reacts the sound effect a better, um, and I'll show you what I mean in, in a minute. So yeah, basically, if you're having any problems with it, don't render in 32-bit. Everyone tells you you need a high-quality file, so I'm assuming everyone goes to the highest quality on the list and takes that. Um, but you need 24 or 16, preferably a 16. So if we go back into Cinema 4D now, um, you can see when we press play, all of the things are moving at the same time. Um, and to change that, you want to go to your sound effector, and where it says here um, apply mode you want to change from all to step and that's going to do it in steps here um, but obviously we haven't really got much movement out of it there's not really much going on um, so you need to go to your parameter and you need to turn off position and you need to turn on scale and when you turn on scale nothing's going to happen because you need to pick what, um, what axis you want to scale on so we're going to want to scale on the y axis for a sound effect so if we just change that to 1 um, you 
you'll see we've got some really nice movement there all of them are all of the uh, cues for the sound effect are jumping up nicely and this is what I was talking about with the 24 bit if I was to change the track back to a 24 bit um, you'll see it's not really affecting these ones or anything I'm not really sure why um, I don't really know understand how that works but all I know is if you have a 16 bit it works a lot better for the track um, and for the look of the sound effector so that's pretty much it guys so, you know you can mess around with it do whatever you want um, I don't know if you were to mess around with your cube and cap it and round it off or you can make this like deform like a ball and make the ball react to the sound effector but basically um, yeah so the problem with the sound is just make sure it's a 16 bit um, for the best or for the best look or make it a 24 bit for you know if that's all you can go to um, and then for colors if you just stick like a color on the floor color on here when you render out you're going to get a nice looking um, sound effect of there and that's pretty much it you can add any song you like you know mess around with different objects play around with stuff uh, but that's pretty much it for me guys so hope you found this tutorial helpful I haven't seen a help on the uh, on the problem with the 16-bit thing before all I've seen is people saying make the objects editable and as you've seen here it makes no difference um, if the objects editable or not which none of mine are um, obviously it's just the the track can't be a 32-bit so I hope that's helped some of you guys out subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials from me I've got plenty more stuff coming up um, give a like if the videos helped you out it really helps me out if the videos got a like and you know favorite as well if you're going to want to come back and watch this tutorial another time so you can build yourself a sound effector so thanks for that guys and i'm out